to ruin your brand new shiny Toyota Tacoma. Well, good morning, everybody. How are you today? Pretty good here. And I'm gonna tell you how to ruin your Toyota Tacoma. How do I know? Because I probably came about that close to doing it myself. Not with this one, but with my previous one, my 2018, you know, that Barcelona red beauty that I used to have on the channel. I assume that you watch the channel. If you don't watch the channel, why are you watching the channel? But anyway, I had a 2018 uh, Toyota Tacoma. It was a TRD Sport. And really, it was my first foray into modding uh, trucks, Tacomas in particular. So I bought this truck and it was with full intent of modding it, right? So I was guns a blazing, let's go, let's get this thing modded. Jumped right in. First thing I did, first major thing I did was the lift, right? You got to lift your Tacoma, man. If you don't lift your Tacoma, I don't know why you're driving a Tacoma. They scream for a lift. So I did, went out, got myself a 3-2 uh, ready lift, block and spacer lift, um, you know, some spacers in the front, some blocks in the rear. And then I threw on some big old 20 inch wheels and tires to go with it, cause you gotta do that too, right? And then I was disappointed. I was disappointed in a couple of things. One, the firmness of the ride. It was like riding around in a lumber wagon. It was heavy, it was, bouncy it was it you felt every bump it was just not a good thing now at first i attributed that to the lift and i do think the lift probably had some small component something to do with it but it really wasn't the lift it was the tire and wheel setup you know 20 inch tires or 20 inch wheels rather they look pretty good i love them but they ride like crap you know i put those things on and because you have almost, I won't say no, but reduced tread wall, there's not as much there to absorb the bumps and stuff in the road, right? So you're going to feel everything. It wasn't good. Then moving on to the inside, I decided I was going to go with a bunch of those little decal sticker type things, right? I was going to put a bunch of those on because I like them. They look good. And I was going carbon fiber. So I did. Bought a bunch, got a bunch to put in, put them all over the place. Everywhere you looked inside my truck, except the glove box, uh, which had red Tacoma lettering. Didn't match anything, but except the outside of the truck, I guess, sort of. But I put them all over the place, um, including on the doors, you know, on the surface of the doors, around the controls and stuff. And then I got to looking one day and I thought, you know, that's too much. It looks tacky. And it was. I thought it was tacky. I thought it was too much. Now, this is all personal preference, of course. I mean, if you like that kind of thing and it's your gig, then do it. But it really turned out to not be my gig. I got to look at it and I thought, eh, you know, I'm not digging that. So I thought I'd take them off. That wasn't a good idea because you see, the adhesive that the company puts on those is very strong. They don't want to come off, man. When you put them on there, they are on there to stay. So. I couldn't do it. I started to pull them off. The adhesive started to separate from the uh, applique or decal or whatever you want to call it. And uh, it left a pretty firm residue on the surface. So I thought, you know, for a brief moment, it crossed my mind. I could throw some goo on on there and pull that stuff off. But I thought, man, you got a lot of electrical controls and things there, probably not a good idea. So I just pushed it back down, forgot about it, left it. It was sold to the next guy. And I assume the next guy must like it because the truck did sell and kudos to them. I hope they're happy with it. Um, that's another way to ruin your Tacoma. The exterior, same thing. You gotta watch how much stuff uh, you put on the outside. You know, I find that subtle is better. You know, right now on my 2020, which by the way, if you don't watch the channel, then this is a 2020 TRD off-road. Um, I put, I took all the badging off, first of all, because in my opinion, chrome badging is just too much. It's tacky. I don't, I don't care for it. Personal preference. If you like chrome, more power to you. But I took it all off. And then a company I deal with actually sent me some little round Rob Motive channel um, 
what do you want to call them, decals or badges, I guess badges, uh, that I put on each side. Very subtle thing, but they look awesome. I love them. Again, personal preference. I've had a few people get on and say, oh, you're trying to be like a trail rated Jeep. No, not really. I just put them on because I like them. That's pretty much it. But just the small little touches, you know, in the glove box in this truck, I think the only, yeah, the only uh, enhancement I've made in here as far as decals go is that little Tacoma badging or word in the Tacoma embossed area on the uh, glove box. Looks great in here. It's voodoo blue, matches the truck. Great little accent. I do have the blue uh, shift knob. Again, just a little accent, matches the truck. And then of course, the uh, Rob Motive uh, center console cover lid, which I think is just awesome in this truck. And that's it. I don't have anything else in here. Um, that I can think of right now or see. Uh, maybe the grab handles on the back of the seats. I don't know if you guys can see it here. Uh, it's voodoo blue, but it's just another little touch. So you wanna be careful. You don't wanna go nuts. You don't wanna over mod your truck. And I see that a lot. Have you ever seen a spoiler on the tailgate on the back of a truck? A spoiler? What the heck is that? To me, that's a little over modding. How about those great big giant, they're probably bigger than 20 inch wheels with low profile tires that are bright chrome. It's a truck. Why in the world are you doing that? Personal preference, again, this is me talking to my own mind, right? I know some people like it, and if it's a show truck, maybe not so bad. But some of the trucks I've seen with those, they're not show trucks. I don't know what they're trying to do. So you gotta be careful. You gotta be careful when you're doing things to your truck. You don't want to over mod it. Again, I've been down that road. I've done it. You can over mod your truck both functionally and aesthetically, right? You can do too much to it functionally so that you make it like I did, not comfortable or really even fun to drive anymore. I mean, you know, the Tacoma is not the most powerful beast out there in the world anyway, right? So when you put those big giant heavy wheels and tires on it, kind of robs it of even a little bit more power. Then you talk about re-gearing. Boy, that's a whole nother topic. I get people that ask me that. Are you gonna re-gear your truck? No, I'm not gonna re-gear my truck because I don't think it's that simple. I think that when you start getting into things like that, you create other problems. I don't know, never done it, never gonna. Now, there is one more thing and some people might claim that it might be over modding, I don't know, but I plan to supercharge this truck. Why? Because I want more power. Um, hopefully that doesn't cause me uh, any other issues. I think, um, oh, I know there are a few companies out there now who have come out with superchargers, maybe a couple, uh, for the Tacoma. I'm gonna let that settle a little while before I jump into it. Also wanna run the truck's warranty out before I get into anything like that, because I guarantee you, if you go and slap a supercharger on it that is not done by the uh, by the dealer, you're gonna have a big problem if you have any kind of engine problems once they see that. So I will wait a little while to do that. That's gonna be the next big mod, and that's a huge mod as far as I'm concerned, on the Toyota Tacoma. So just be careful when you're out there. You know, you can ruin your Tacoma pretty quickly and pretty easily. And you don't even have to spend a lot of money to do it. I mean, if you go out on Amazon or eBay or somewhere and and look, there are tons of decals and stickers and things you can stick all over your truck. But I guarantee you, if you do too many, you're gonna ruin it. Leave a comment down below, let me know. Have you ruined your Tacoma? Have you done things that after you were done, you kind of looked back and said, it doesn't look so good. Doesn't, doesn't give me that warm and fuzzy, you know? I'd like to know, I'm curious. Also, if you're interested, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching, stay safe out there, bye.